yeah that's it for the um sip wrap for the day of 571 for the 17th of september uh so the the key the key uh, conclusions is basically uh the capture of klishievka so as per i have uh, mentioned the town is unlikely to hold more than a week uh, which i mentioned probably a week ago and we is proven that yeah the russians are really got pushed pushed out of klishievka itself and this also shows another thing which is that the previous report by Raiba saying that the the russian forces forces have recaptured most of klishievka forcing a ukrainian retreat after a massive counter attack which the ukrainians do massive bombardment um maybe this happens maybe it did not but ultimately it it, it does degrades uh the credibility of Raiba, you know by by reporting that and actually uh insisting that the the entire of this village or most of this village is actually a gray zone uh, this is not true with further geolocation of ukrainian forces uh, by crimean capitalists uh, over in the northern part of klishevka very close to the uh the very edge of the town as well as the rate the photo that is a uh, that went viral of the claim of the capture of klishevka which is actually pretty much near uh is at a at the church of, around the center of klishevka so the this geolocation uh, have confirmed that uh, definitely the Ukrainians have most likely have captured the full of Eklishevka and uh, Russian geolocations is basically on the other side of the railway line uh, in the northern part of Eklishevka as well as another one just off the lake in the eastern part. So the the Ukrainian forces have uh, achieved a major victory uh, this on top of the Andreevka one. This will allow the Ukrainian forces to establish a very powerful and strategic uh, forward operating uh, position for them to continue their offensive to capture Opitny, Oredivka, cut off this highway and uh, they can do a lot more from here. Going to Zaiseve, they can totally bypass Bakhmut, no problem and uh, this will in effect cause massive massive uh, uh, military uh, problem, you know, military strategic problem when the Ukrainians just continue to push on in this direction. And uh, however, they do they do lack of the northern pincer. Uh, this pincer did not happen, so this is like a half pincer, uh, only only from a flanking movement in the south. We shall continue to see how this goes. Anyway, uh, another major thing is that there's almost hardly any reports of fighting over at the Robotine Verbove region. The only one that actually really talk about Ukrainians still attacking is Myroshinikov. They are still talking about Ukrainians gradually uh, gradually advancing or having success in the area of Verbove and uh, Novo Prokopivka. So otherwise, only the Russian Defense Ministry simply mentioned some fighting by uh, by the Ukrainians attacking the, Ru uh, the Russian positions. And uh, so uh, there is also fighting at Nestedyanka and Kopani, also by Myroshinikov, but because they are a secondary source, we cannot take this uh, too hard. You know, we shall continue to monitor how this goes. And um, the fighting over at Novo Mayoske has died down. There's totally no reports there. The only reports of fighting is at Novo Donetske, and it is by the Russians. The Russians actually uh, sent uh, forward, op forward units to actually uh, attack Ukrainians where they are trying to do rotation. And uh, this this also ends this another attempt by the ukrainian forces to attack the no, uh, attack the novo mayoske region as well as the uh, novo donetsky region to establish a major uh, buffer zone this cannot happen now it looks like they have given up and uh, the fighting over at the staro mayoske is very interesting with ukrainians attacking southwest of staro mayoske and towards prione while the russians attacking inside of this uh very uh, distant pincer will be fighting in the north of Prione and in the west of Staro Mayoske. We shall continue to monitor what is this about. Uh, I wonder what it what what would all this means and how it would develop. Otherwise, the rest of the front line, Kupians, Ukrainian Kupians, so called uh, counter offensive is actually uh, nothing. There's nothing actually happening over here. Um, so information uh, that was reported by russian defense ministry this has not extended to the to the 17th and uh the entire uh Sviatove region have went quiet uh and the ukrainians simply continuing their offensive over in the crimea region in the forest uh, which is nothing to you know really be surprised about and uh that's about it uh other things is not important unless 
uh, at least you no, know, not as important for those uh, very superficial viewers. Um, if you want to have a more detailed uh, version of this report, do become a YouTube member or join the Patreon, Coffee or whatever. You will get the detailed sub wrap. Otherwise, uh, you just have to make do with the conclusions, and I'll see you. Uh, press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next update.